Okay, so it's confirmed. And actually, there's a BBC show on YouTube that um, this is the confirmed organ that he recorded those sessions on. I'll have to look on YouTube and find that. Uh, it was a BBC, and Rick Wakeman came out and actually, um, I guess, did part of that story here. This is awesome. I can't believe two of these organs and, and one trip to Europe. This is, of course, St. Giles in Cripplegate, London. And he would have done the uh, close to the edge way before uh, the one in Veve for going for the one. <laughs> I did ask the music director <laughs> if Rick Wakeman fans come out here and she said not much anymore. So I guess officially we're getting old. Are you getting ready to go home? And I don't want to hold you Jessica up. Just to go downstairs. Okay, I will be done in one second. Okay. I'm sorry. No, you could just come downstairs when you're ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. That, that was the music director. If you if you're visiting at all, this they had some absolutely fantastic music here, singing, the organ. This one looks a little more complicated than the one in Veve, although I don't know, and I don't know how they modify these things. Contra Hollies. Crazy sounds. And swell. And of course, the keyboards. I don't want to overstay my welcome here. Foot pedals. Back up to the keys here. So for Rick Wakeman fans, this is the Holy Grail. And of course the pipes.
quite bright in here. Excellent lighting. There's some things about the operating instruction. That's pretty cool. Get one final pan here for you. Part of my ultimate rig rundown series for Rick Wakeman fans. St. Giles Cripple Gate. Again, I've got the official book for the organs here. If anybody has any questions, just post them. I'll try to answer them out of this book. But uh, there it is. Of course, mind the step.